Okay, the first one is this Allegro blush. It's such a strange color, and it also swatch pretty strange. But for some reason, when I use it very sheerly, it just gives such a pretty and fresh kind of look, and I really like it. I want to keep this one because it is like a very special color. And that's that. But I do want to declutter this like Excel blush because I just never use it. So yeah, this is a declutter. And also decluttering this L'Oreal True Match powder blush. This is in the shade Barely Blushing. And It's a pretty color. It it's really is a pretty color, but I just never reach for it. So, and I have a lot of like similar colors to this. So I think I can get let somebody else use it. And this is the clinic cheek pop. I just come to the conclusion that the only cheek pop that I will use is the color nude pop. And I feel like it's just I start with the nude pop and I love it so much and I just started to purchase so many other colors in this same line but at the end of the day the only blush I will use from this line is still nude pop so I think this is like in a nearly perfect condition I probably barely touched this one so I want to let somebody else use this color it's in the shade poppy pop and it's pretty color, but I just never use it. <laughs> and this... I have like all of these MAC blushes. Like, let's look at it. And this is the color Pitches. And this is color um, more than Mandarin. I think I want to declutter one of these two. Let's swatch and decide. Hmm, I think there are in the different formula. The modern mandarin color is a little bit more shimmery and the peaches color is a matte. Hmm. This is peaches and this is modern mandarin. I can't decide. <laughs> Let me set these two to the maybe pile and I can assess this later, like which one I should keep. This two is also very difficult. It's the same formula. Um, it's the extra dimension blush. One is telling glow and one is fairly precious. One is deeper than the other, but these two are actually pretty close to each other. I want to say they're in the same family. This is telling glow. But they do swatch very different. Maybe I should keep both because I do love this formula. Even though it looks like it's such a chunky kind of shimmer color. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. Maybe this way you can see the, like, the intense glow. It like, it's, looks like a highlight. When I use this blush, I don't need to apply highlight. But I do think... It's intense, but it's not chunky on your skin. It looks so perfect. So I do want to keep this too. And this too is the extra dimension, I believe. Oh, it's like a mineralized blush. And one is the very famous Warm Soul. And the other is Denti. I'm thinking, should I keep Warm Soul or should I just declutter both? I feel like warm soul, warm soul is a maybe pile, but I definitely want to declutter the color Denti. It's a pinky color. It's cute. Like, it's cute, but I never use it. So I think I should declutter the Denti one and decide should I keep the warm soul a little bit later. And the next one. 
This is a keep. This is a, actually a recent purchase. This is the Laura Mercier um, blush color infusion in the shade Fresco. It's such a pretty nude color, and I think this is probably the only nude that I, that I never I ever need. It's such a plain looking nude, but on the cheeks, it's such a pretty color. So I do want to keep this. And this is from Kat, Pat, um, Pat McGrath blush in the shade Divine Rose. This is one of the mauve blush that I actually enjoy. It's very rare that I enjoy a mauve blush, so I'm keeping this. It's such a great formula and it melts like a cream. It's so perfect. And this by Terry blush. I'm thinking, should I keep this or should I get rid of it? <laughs> this is the swatch. It's a pretty orangey color, but I don't think, I don't know if I should keep this. Because even though it's so pretty, but I never use it, what's the point of keeping this? I'm, I'm gonna declutter it. And keeping this Dior blush, this is in the shade Coral. I do really like this color. It looks like such a fresh kind of color. And this is the Armani blush. It's the cheek favorite blush, but it's in the shade 502. I never ever reach for this. It's pretty much new, so I think I should just have somebody else use it. And this is a limited edition Dior blush. It's pretty, but I feel like I just should stop buying limited edition. Most of the limited edition product I purchased, I just purchase it, try it once and put into my collection and never reach for it again. I don't know why that is, so I think I'm declaring this and I feel like I should just stop buying limited edition products except from Suku because that's an exception <laughs> for sure and this is the Dior blush in the shade 999 it's so scary looking blush but it looks so beautiful on your skin keeping this and also keeping the shade Chanel it's such a pretty like nude blush and also keeping this um, rosy glow color. Now it's in the like in this packaging, but this is like just the old packaging, but the same formula. And I do like this one. The next is two Tom Ford blush. This is the shade Inhibition. If I'm I'm not pronouncing that wrong, I think. I should just declare this because I have other nude blush that I enjoy and I even though I like this color I never reach for it. I probably should just let somebody else use it while it's like in a good condition. And this is in the shade incandescent and it's still it's barely touched but I I don't know why like for Tom Ford I love everything I purchased, but I just never actually use it. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I I I want to have somebody explain that to me why I love Tom Ford formula, and I purchase a lot of it and just never reach for it. Like, why? Why it's like so beautiful, but why I just don't reach for any of them? <laughs> I think. I should declutter this. And this blush is from the brand is like not existing anymore. It's called Love Shuka. It's a Japanese um, drugstore brand and it's under the umbrella of Carnival, I think. And it's the brand as a is discontinued. And this color is one of the first pinky blush that I loved. I want to keep this for a sentimental reason. Like it's old. If I throw it away, it's just gonna be like a piece of trash. 
I shouldn't have somebody else use it because it's so old. It's probably over seven years old. So yeah, keeping this. Um, I don't want to like risk it, but I'm keeping this. And this is the shade. Oh. This is the shade. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the shade from NARS. I I rarely use this color, actually. So I think I probably should just declutter it if I never use it. And that's another declutter. This two from Suku is definitely a keep. I love this melting blush. It really melts on your skin. Like it's like a powder blush perform like a cream. It's a definitely keep. And this is from Maquillage, is like a like a daughter brand of Shiseido. I do want to keep this because I don't like I don't have this kind of color. This is a keep. And the packaging. The packaging is so gorgeous. And the next is um clay de po blush. This is like the same with Tom Ford. Clay de po products, I buy them, I but I never use them. So I think I should probably just like let somebody else use it as well. It's still pretty nice in a pretty nice condition. And this is from the sh uh, uh the brand S Prick. It's also a Japanese drugstore brand. This is like a long gone like formula, but they reformulate they reformulate this recently, like or every couple years. This is like a previous formula, so it's not available to purchase, but this is my one of my favorite glowy blush, so I do want to keep this. And this is Canabel blush duo. It's a light pink blush. I'm thinking this probably should be my maybe pile. Uh, I want to decide it later. And these three are all from um, Surat. I don't know. I They are all so beautiful. Like, let me... Let me open all of them. They are all beautiful colors, but I just rarely reach for them. I think... Um, let me decide later. Let me put this in the maybe pile. And this is the palette built from Addiction. And you know what? I do like this blush formula, so I do want to keep this. So yeah, I'm th I'm keeping this one. The next, I'm thinking this two color pop blush. I'm thinking to declutter this one. It's a pink called Catch My Vibe. And I'm keeping this lavender one because I do want to have one lavender blush. So yeah, that's another one gone. And these are three um, can make blushes. I want to keep it for now and use it more because I feel like I didn't use it enough to decide if I want to declutter this. So I'm keeping this for now and I will use it more before I decide. And I am decluttering this three blush. It's a pretty color but it's like a like similar color to the one from Maquillage that I'm keeping. So yeah, I'm declaring this one. And this is a blush from Lunasol. It doesn't have case um yet. But I do want to keep it because I rarely use this one. I want to like use it before I part my way with it. And these four are all from the brand La Dury. It's it's probably should considered as a French brand, 
but for some reason it's very popular in Japan and I have never heard anybody purchase this from France so I don't know what this brand is actually founded they actually reformulate and repackaged this collection so now it's not looking like this it doesn't has this like gorgeous embossing this is like a profile of a woman it's so pretty and now it's just like a plain little flower that's not as per perfect like nearly perfect as this but I do want to declutter about at least two of these this is this one this is a light pink one it's too used to be decluttered probably I don't know I think I should keep the pink one and maybe declutter this because this is like barely touched so yeah I'm gonna declutter this one and I probably also should declutter this because I think this is pretty close to this one it's from the brand Benefic yeah this two color is pretty close I'm keeping this one and decluttering this one okay this is from the brand M Cosmetics I feel like this blush I should give it another chance be before I declutter it everybody loves this blush so much but it's just color it's just does not work for me very well so yeah I'm thinking to maybe do a give this another try kind of video and try this again maybe this time I want to try this as a bronzer if it doesn't work for me as a bronzer as well I'm just gonna declare it while it's still new it's the shade Faded Clementine yeah gonna do that and these palettes, this ColourPop palette, it's still pretty new, but actually I just rarely reach for this. And now I'm seeing other things that I have, I'm probably not gonna reach for this as well, like in the future. I can see that, so I think I should just declutter it. And this Tom Ford palette, I love this so much. I use this so many times and somehow it still looks like I never touch it. I don't know why. Probably because there is about 30 grams of powder in here. And yeah, I actually, I actually hope Tom Ford will make like smaller product and make the price cheaper because nobody need a 30 a 30 gram of powder like cheek product like maybe for setting powder 30, 30 gram will be like a good amount but for bronzer and blushes especially I don't need that much but this is pretty so I'm gonna keep this and this one I don't use nearly as much like maybe I should compare this two and you can see how much um, I have used the other ones just look at the center letter this is much new than this one right so I think I want to keep this one and declutter and declutter the Tom Ford one this is a newer one from Julia's place I don't know. I want to keep this in the maybe pile and see later. And these three are from Suku. I love this formula actually. But you know what? I feel like the only one that I would use is the 101. The color and the formula is the one that I really like. I have a video that I compare these three and like the two the three highlights only two like only one will work on me and it's like a little bit too yellow and these two and these two are too shiny and too dark for my skin tone it's probably for like medium or medium tan skin tone this is the color 103 and this is 101 this is pretty close to each other 
but I use 101 way more than 103 so I think I should just declutter 103 and like I said 102 just didn't work for me that much so I'm decluttering this too well never thought I would declutter two Suku blush but yeah this is the one that I think I would really use so yeah I'm keeping this and now let's put the keeping ones back and assess the maybe pile well I didn't know that I'm decluttering so much that this this drawer looks empty right now <laughs> let me find a new way to arrange these I'm thinking maybe I can put the cream blush um, and this into the same drawer and yeah, let's do it Okay, these are the definitely keep ones and these are the maybe piles. Let's assess them. I feel like the Julia's Place one, I still want to um, try a little more. No, actually, I don't know. Yeah, I think I want to declutter this because I feel like I have other similar shades so yeah that's gone and the two MAC ones I think I want to keep the color peaches because I actually prefer the matte formula so I'm declaring more than mandarin and I think I'm declaring warm soul because it's just I just never reach for it and it's in a pretty good condition and I want to keep I actually want to keep the carnival one because I think I declare a lot of like the light pink colors and I don't quite like one that's like exactly same as this I'm trying to find a way to <laughs> to arrange this that makes sense and yeah I think this is okay and the three Surat ones you know what I think I'm gonna declutter all of them because they are all in a quite good condition but I just never use them so yeah probably better to have other person to use it so declaring them Whoa, I'm doing a way better job than I thought and I managed to fit all of my blush in the same drawer and I actually think even this is quite a big collection for somebody that like their job is not in any way associated with makeup this is way more than one person need still but I still I did a pretty good job at decluttering. Let me calculate how much I have decluttered. I decluttered a 25 powder blush and that's like a palette is just counted as one. It's not like a six color palette counted as six. It's just one palette is just one. So it's 25 powder blush gun and 28 um, cream blush gun. That's a pretty good job. Here is 59 blush in total uh, and I am declaring 53 so 59 keeping and 53 gone so that's about half 
well, much better than I thought I would have done. And this is the final result. One full drawer and one empty drawer. And all of these are gonna to go. The next declutter probably gonna be eyeshadow. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye.